Hi, and welcome to Aspire. Today, we'll be talking about invoicing, specifically your invoicing assistant. In this video, we'll learn the purpose of the invoicing assistant, learn the features of the invoicing assistant, and last, learn how to create an invoice from the invoicing assistant. Let's get started and talk about what the invoicing assistant is. The invoicing assistant is your personal helper and who doesn't like a little help? Your invoicing assistant is the front end for all the opportunities and tickets that might need to be paid on. Instead of having to keep track of who needs to pay, the invoicing assistant takes care of this for you. It'll even tell you if there appears to be an issue with the opportunity or property before generating the invoice. Pretty neat, right? Let's go ahead and get into the system to see exactly what we mean. If I am at the home screen, we can get to invoicing assistant by going to the blue side menu on the left side of the screen and then clicking the paper receipt the invoicing module. I am then brought to the invoicing assistant. Let's first take a look at our quick filters. Along the top of the screen, you'll see our invoicing assistant has four quick filters available. Quick filters are great for quickly looking at information without needing to use the filter icon. The properties filter allows us to limit information to one or multiple properties. Branches allows us to limit information based on branch assigned to the property. Invoice types let us filter our potential invoices by what invoice types we would like to create. For example, we can create a batch of contract fixed payment invoices. Invoice timing allows us to focus on the timing of our payment schedules, including first, middle, or last of the month. But this field just applies to fixed payment contract invoice type invoices and your timing will be set up on the payment schedule within the opportunity. In the little calendar to the left, we have as of date. This field allows us to select a date in the past or the future. What's great is that our invoicing assistant will then display info as of that date and time, almost like a crystal ball. There's a couple of reasons why you may want to use this feature. For instance, if you're working on creating invoices for your fixed payment contracts, you'll want to make sure the date is set for the month you're wanting to invoice. If today's date is August 30th and you want to create the September invoices, you'll need to adjust the date to a date in September. This will bring in only the September fixed payment invoices into our list. Time and materials on completion tickets will appear when the as of date is equal to or later than the complete date on the ticket. Any per service invoice type tickets will appear when the completed dates of these services have either happened before or the same day as your selected date. For example, per service tickets are typically invoiced at the end of the month. So if I have four mowing tickets completed in a month that I would still like to invoice together, I can set the date to the end of the month. Let's next take a look at status. The status column informs us how the line item should be handled. Since Aspire's workflow works down from opportunities to invoicing, we may need some help getting these potential invoices correct. These colors indicate an action required before an invoice can be created, like missing payment terms. Others show that items are ready to be invoiced. Status definitions are available by clicking the info icon right next to status. The status column can also be used to sort or group your invoices, especially if you need to deal with certain errors all at once. Now that we've looked at some of the details of the invoicing assistant, let's jump to the top row where you can search and create a list. As with all our lists or searches in Aspire, you can use the search to look up a specific opportunity, property, or company, just to name a few. 
To the right of the search bar, you can filter, display, sort, and group your list to further assist you in making sure to review what needs to be invoiced. The options are endless depending on how you want to view the information. For example, I might want to create a list using companies instead of properties so I can easily send grouped invoices. To do this, I can go to display and select company so I can see them in my list. I then can click the header of company and drag it to the left. Doing this will group potential invoices so they can be batched together. Anytime you're happy with how you've built your list, you can save it to your favorites through the triple dot icon on the far side of the screen in the Save As option. Speaking of batching or creating invoices, let's now talk about how to create an invoice. To create a batch for available invoices, we'll check the checkbox to the left of each line to select the invoices we want included in that batch. Lines will not have a checkbox if there's missing information that needs to be addressed or your fixed price on payment schedule has work remaining. The only invoice type that does not have check boxes at any point in time are fixed price open billing invoices. This type you must click into the row to review how much of the total you want to invoice at a time. Next, once we select, we'll go up to the top right and select from our bulk actions. Generate invoice. Our invoices are batched and ready for the next step. With that, let's review. First, using quick filters can help easily sort based on common information. Second, invoicing assistant statuses can help recognize issues with opportunities and properties before the time of invoicing. It's important to pay special attention to these. Last, based on your own company's operations, Develop a regular process on how and when to handle potential invoices based on invoice type and timing. Thanks for learning a little more about the Invoicing Assistant. We'll see you in the next video.